Hello everyone. Today I will explain for exercise 3.5 part 3 and 4 for class 10 chapter number 3. Part 1 and part 2 I have explained. You can check my previous video. Now I am reading the statement. Which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solution? In case if there is a unique solution then you have to solve by multipli uh, cross multiplication method. The statement is 3x minus 5y equal to 20 and 6x minus 10y equal to 40. We have to recognize it is a unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solution. So we have to compare their coefficients. Even by A2, this first equation, this is second equation. Coefficient A1 is 3 and second equation coefficient of either multiple of x is 6, when you decrease this, 1 by 2. Now, b1 by b2, coefficient of y, minus 5 and minus 10, second equation, reduce the term, 1 by 2. Now, c1 by c2, 20 upon 40, reduce the term, 1 by 2. What you have observed? A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and equal to C1 by C2. Means this pair of linear equations are graphically coincident lines. These linear equations are coincident lines so they have infinitely many solution we have to solve by cross multiplication method when they have unique solution in this third part question number one this third part answer is they have infinitely many solution now i will explain part four part fourth statement is x minus 3y minus 7 equal to 0 and 3x minus 3y minus 15 equal to 0. You have to check they have unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solution. If they have unique solution then you solve by cross multiplication method. First of all we compare their coefficient, coefficient of x and coefficient of y and constant term. First, A1 by A2, that is 1 by 3, okay, and B1 by B2 is minus 3 upon 3, cancel, means 1 by 1 means 1, and C1 by C2, that is minus 7 upon minus 15 minus and minus cancel 7 upon 15. Now you know that if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so the pair of lines the pair of lines are intersecting lines.
intersecting lines if they have they are intersecting line so they have unique solution unique solution if we find it is a unique solution we have to solve by cross multiplication method in some number first first part second part when I have solved and then second part we have solved with cross multiplication method and I have told you one easy method this 2, 3, 1, 2 means this is 1 coefficient of x1 this is 2 and this is 3 first we have to write the second coefficient it means minus 3 and minus 3 then third coefficient minus 7 and minus 15 and then first 1 and 3 and then second minus 3 and minus 3 this I will underline this you have to learn only and cross multiply this this and to this x will be you have to multiply minus 3 with minus 15. Where one sign is minus and another sign is minus. Minus and minus multiply plus 45 plus will come. And between them we have to write minus sign. And then minus 3 multiply minus 7. Two sign are minus and when we multiply it will plus. But minus sign is outside and 21 you write here. Okay. Now you write y. y value this 7 multiplied by 3 and minus 15 multiplied by 1. Minus 7 and 3 minus 21 and minus between them and minus 15 and 1 minus 15. Because one sign is positive, one sign is negative and we multiply sign will come of minus and then we write 1. And then we cross multiplication. This 1 by minus 3 and this 3 by minus 3. First 1 by minus 3, it will come minus 3. 1 is positive and 1 is, this is negative. And between them you have to write minus sign. Now in bracket 3 multiply minus 3 minus 9. Okay. And now x 45 minus 21 24 will come and here y minus 21 plus 15 outside minus there and internal sign will be changed plus 15 and then here minus 3 outside minus and inside minus the sign will be changed plus 9. I loved. Now I will take this x by 24 minus 20 by plus 15. When one sign is negative, one is positive, we will subtract, but sign becomes a larger number. Larger number is negative number, our sign will negative. Means y upon minus 6. Then 1 minus 3 plus 6. One sign is minus and one sign is plus. When opposite sign are there, we will subtract and after subtract sign will come the larger number. Here larger number is positive and here positive 6 will come. Now we will compare first this to this. Okay. x upon 24 equal 1 by 6. Single cross we will do x equal to 24 upon 6 x value 4 will come now we will compare this y to this and we will write y minus 6 equal to 1 by 6 single cross minus 6 upon 6 minus 1 now your answer is 
your answer is x value is 4 and y value is minus 1. Hope you understood and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.